Well, I'm on the balcony again for another five minute video, giving you a nice view of the this way on the beach. You can see the lights in the background and how pretty it is. And of course, I'm a little washed out uh, and that's okay too. So let's talk about imprinting. And here's one imprinting trick if you're, especially if you're wanting to be in a long-term scenario or situation with a, a woman, that will help you a lot. And it was interesting because I came across this. It's something I realized that I do, but I didn't, I didn't think about it too much in, in order to do a video for you guys until doing a lot of consultations with guys, helping guys out. And I came into this one kind of paradigm that I've, I've heard a few times, which is where a guy is reluctant to want to do things with their chick that she's done with other people. So if she's gone to a particular restaurant, for example, they're like, well, she used to go there with her ex, so I don't want to go there. Or, you know, taking a trip somewhere, let's say going to, I don't know, uh, let's say going to, you know, some, some tropical island somewhere, some Caribbean island that she went, she went uh, or she went on some cruise with her ex. So then, then the guy's like, well, I don't want to do that because she used to do that with her ex, you know? And so you kind of get skeeved out about doing any kind of thing that she's done with her ex thinking that, it is, especially if she suggests it, it's this thought almost like, oh, well, she must be thinking about her ex or, you know, want her ex back or whatever, and that's why she wants to remind herself of that experience she had with her ex, and that's why she wants to do this thing with me. And guys get really intimidated about that or they get insecure about that or whatever. Here's the thing about sexual imprinting. So... You don't need to be, don't be, it's actually, you need to have the opposite mindset of what I just said, okay? Because sexual imprinting is where you're imprinting her sexual desires to want you through the things that you're experiencing and doing, right? So, for example, let's say she's had sex in a car before with another guy. Well, if she thinks about having sex in a car and you've never had sex in a car with her, who is she going to think about? right? She might not want to think about uh, if she sees you as her apex alpha, as the guy she really wants to be with, she may not want to think about the other person, but she's not going to be able to help but think about that. If she references a trip, for example, to, I don't know, let's say uh, going to, let's pick, let's pick uh, some island somewhere, you know, um, Jamaica, I don't know, let you know, pick Jamaica, I guess, um, you know, going to Jamaica or whatever. Well, if she's gone to Jamaica with an ex or somebody, or she got, you know, banged out in Jamaica by some guy, that's all that if she thinks about having sex in that environment or whatever, or just thinks about that trip, that's w what else, you know, she's that that's the, the thing that'll crop up, whether she wants to think about that or not. Now, when you do an experience with her and you give her a better experience than what she had in her past that associates you and sex with you and the sexual experience of doing that thing with you rather than that other person. So you see, that's what imprinting, part of what imprinting does is whenever she thinks about a sexual experience or a good experience, she associates you with that experience. So her sexual desires become anchored to you as a sexual partner versus anybody or versus somebody in particular else, okay? So, for example, sex in the car. Well, if you have sex in the car with her and it's better and better experience than what she's had in the past, then when she thinks about having sex in the car, she's going to associate you with sex in the car, not some ex or some random guy or whoever, Okay, if you go to vacation in, in a particular place, and it might not have to be Jamaica, let's say you go to another island or a similar tropical experience, and you have amazing sex and amazing time in that experience, when she thinks of going to the Caribbean or going to some tropical, or Bahamas, let's say, you go to Bahamas instead of Jamaica, well, she'll associate having that kind of a trip, right, with you more so. But it's all deductive, so, I mean, if forced to think of, let's say, that particular place and whatever, let's say Jamaica instead of Bahamas, but a lot of things about Jamaica come up and having sex in Jamaica, well, she's still not going to be able to help associating it with that other person, whether she likes it or not. So a lot of times when a woman says, hey, I want to experience this with you, all right, it's not because she's thinking of her ex, it's because 
unconsciously, whether she knows she's doing it or not, a lot of times she doesn't, she wants to Im have you imprint with that experience versus that other person. So if she sees you as the most attractive and best option, she wants you to be the person that imprints, let's say, sex in the car versus, you know, some random ex or something like that. So you have to change your mindset here. You actually, a good strategy and tactic is to go after all of these experiences that she's had before, repeat them, but do them better. Make a, for a better sexual experience than anything she's experienced before. That re-imprints her into associating you with those sexual experiences. Now, I don't recommend, because some of you guys think like real dorky engineer types, no offense, I love my engineers, but you can't approach relationships like that, where you're going to be inclined to, to get off this video and go to your chick and ask for a list of all of her sexual experiences so you can list it, so she lists everything she's done in her past and every place she's done it in, so you can go down the list and try to re-imprint her. I don't recommend that as a strategy. That's just causing her to now have to think about all those experiences all over again and that's not necessarily what she wants to do or what you should, you know, ask be wanting her to do. But you can you you can put two and two together as you go through interactions and relationship or whatever with her. And so as you learn about her, you know that she went on a particular trip or she did a particular thing with a particular boyfriend or she was seeing somebody at the time or you get sniff or word that she met somebody when she when she did something, right? You can assume sex probably happened in that scenario or whatever. And maybe you do have some discussions about crazy places you have had sex with or crazy situations and what have you. And you have those discussions in a non-judgmental way where you're not going to beat her up over her past, okay? And as you gather that intel, put that in your little memory banks or in your mental list and then go ahead and repeat those experiences, not like immediately, of course, but when you have the opportunity, repeat those experiences and give her bigger, better, harder, more fun, okay, in those experiences. That will, ha that will, that will, re that will re-imprint her, all right? Some of you guys struggle with retroactive jealousy and you struggle with being, you know, having really bad feelings about your girl's past. Well, this is a way to kind of remedy that in a sense. Unfortunately, we can't undo her past. Anything she's done before is, is imprinted in her brain. But you can, almost, you can almost erase that. I mean, it doesn't actually erase, you know, but it, it, you, it's almost like it's as close to erasing that experience as you could possibly get would be repeating a similar experience but having it be with you and having it be much better. So anytime she thinks of that thing, whether it's you know sex in a public place or sex in a particular way or you know sex on a balcony with the ocean background or sex on the beach any of these things she'll associate those things with you and rather than being forced to whether she wants to or not associate that with somebody else and that re-imprinting only increases the sexual bond and the pair bond that that person has to you so i know a lot of you guys are concerned about that most of you guys who are on my channel, you're, you're spinning, you're spinning a diff different women, you're dating women casually, or maybe you're in a relationship, but you want the chick that you're with in whatever capacity to really see you as her best and to have essentially the best experiences with you. And that's a good thing. That's, that's a good thing to want that. This is a tactic that will help you. So change your mindset. Some of you guys are skewed a little bit on this. And go ahead and if you're in that relationship, or when you get in that relationship, go ahead and not be afraid to re-imprint. Uh, my previous video on this was about sex and how important it is, and this is also something that you can do that can be important as well. Thanks again for tuning in.